I was broken with blinded eyes. I was caught up in the chains of darkness. Fragile heart, meant to die. Till love found me and saved my life. Never lost cause I knew I'd take refuge. Welcome to our third week ng Beyond Kings and Kingdoms. And uh, I would like to start with asking questions sa ating lahat. No? Maganda magtatanungan din tayo. Can our disobedience be the expression of our faith? Pwede ba yun? Mag-disobey ako, then that's a faith expression. Okay. Magandang, isip, magandang pag-isipan to, no? Number, ito, 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 ito. <clears throat> Um, when can disobedience be an act of honoring the Lord? Pwede ba yun? Yung pag-disobey ko, it's a mere act of honoring the Lord. Okay, maganda yung tanong, no? Or maybe, when can obedience be a disobedience at the same time? Pwede ba yung disobedience ko is at the same time disobedience din? Parang gulo, no? Si Pastor Tatang, ang hilig magtanong ng mga tanong na kung ano-ano, eh, no? Anyway, gusto ko lang pag-isipan nyo yan. And so, today, that's, the topic that we're going to be talking about. That it, and I put title into it. Ang title po is Faithful Disobedience. Ganda ng title, no? Faithful Disobedience. Actually, oxymoronic. No? How can be faithful at the same time we are actually disobedient? Yan. So, sino po sa inyo rito? Disobedient kayo. O, oh, yan. <laughs> Alam na, gusto magtaas. Tika lang. Ah. Alam mo, faithful ka. <laughs> Ang hirap, no? Anyway. So, welcome to that uh, Beyond Kings and Kingdoms on our third week. So today, to discuss about that, I would like to jump in with the story, of course, ni Daniel. Amen? Na, na, alam niyo yung story ni Daniel, di ba? Pang third week na natin to. And so I hope we're reading the book of Daniel. Sino sa inyo rito nagbabasa ng book of Daniel? Okay, dalawa lang. Grabe. Lord, dalawa lang po ay nagbabasa. Okay. <laughs> Ubasahin niyo na, kasi yun ang pinag-usapan natin, Book of Daniel, okay? And so, we know ng main character sa Book of Daniel, of course, yung king, si Nebu, si King Nebu, di ba? And of course, we have Daniel, and uh, we have Hananiah, uh, Azariah, and Mishael. And in, in, of course, ang pangalan si Sajak, Meshach, and Abednego. So, yun po yung kanilang name in the Babylon. But of course, I would like you to memorize yung name din nila sa Hebrew, no? Si Hananiah, si Mishael, tsaka si Azariah. Kung gusto po rin yun, mga pangalan ng mga anak ninyo, maganda yun, no? Na lalaki. Although ito nagbabae, no? Mishael. No? <laughs> Tapos Hananiah. Pero lalaki yun, lalaki, tsaka si Azariah. Alright? And so, we know na last week, pinag-usapan po natin na si Daniel, si Daniel po, ano nangyari sa kanya? Uh, yung second week, di ba? Yung nakialam siya eh, sa isyo ng bayan. Anong isyo ng bayan? na naginip yung hari. Yan ang issue, na naginip ang hari dahil wala pong na maka-interpret ng no, mga ano niya, wala makapagsabi ng dream niya, tapos wala makapag-interpret, sabi niya, patay itong matatalino na to, peke na matatalino. <laughs> yung kanilang Lord, hindi totoo. So dapat, tegi na to mga to. But because si Daniel po, is, hindi po siya apathetic, may pakialam sa nangyayari sa paligid, sabi, teka lang, Kailan may, may, mag- kailan may gagawin ako dito. Tama ba? Sino sa inyo rito, pakialamero? Meron ba? O wala naman, wala naman. Makialam po tayo sa mga isyo ng bayan. Okay ba yun? Yung, yung tipong, Lord, ala, ala, oh, gagamitin mo ako dito. Okay? Huwag po tayong ano. O yung mga wapak eh. Meron mga wapak eh dito? O wala din. No? So talagang walang kausap ako rito. No? Kasi wala. <laughs> Alright, meron, meron. So, si Daniel, nakialam siya kasi nga alam niya na hindi dapat patayin itong mga matatalino na to, Okay? And so, we know what happened. Lumapit siya sa Panginoon and then si Lord, binigyan po siya ng panaginip. And sinabi sa kanya ng Lord ng panaginip ni Haring Nebu, di ba? And so he was able to tell the dream and not only to tell the dream, he was able to interpret the dream. And because of that, 
hindi na po pinatay yung mga matatalino. Ang galing ano, nakialam siya sa isyo ng bayan. Dapat ganyan po tayo. We are, as believers, as Christians, we are involved in addressing the issue of our nation. Tignan mo yung katabi mo. Sabihin mo, alam mo, involved ka talaga. Sabihin nyo, involved ka talaga. Sabihin nyo. Involved ka. Tama? Kasama ka. Sabi nila yung victory, ano? Yung victory, walang pakialam. Kahit anong issue, yung mga pastor, wala man lang stand, di ba? Wala man lang nagpo-post, sinumuboto nila mga ganyan. Well, ang real issue ng bayan, hindi yung presidente, sinumuboto, ang real issue ng bayan, yung kasalanan ng tao. We're all sinners. And every week after week, af- week after week, lagi po kaming may boses and may stand. We know that the greatest problem, the greatest issue of humanity is sin. And so that's why every Saturday, every Sunday, we're speaking about it, we're making a stand, and we say, actually, we don't like that, we hate it, and the only way for us actually to battle sin is the coming of Jesus Christ. And if you are a victory group leader, and if you are sharing the word, or maybe nagawa one-to-one ka, you know what? Every day you are making a voice, every day you're making a stand to the real issue of this nation. Amen ba? So palakpakan natin yung mga leaders natin dito, mga victory group, yan. Kahit na online po kayo, we thank you for sharing the word. You are making, you know, a stand. You're making, you know, you're saying your voice. Alright? And so now, natuwa po si, ano, di ba? Natuwa po si King Nebu. Grabing Diyos nito, ah. Totoong Diyos ang Diyos mo. Yun, na-recognize niya, no? Your God is real God. And we knew na at that moment, akala po natin, naku, na-born na ginayata si Nebu, ah. Okay? Mukhang surrender na siya kay Lord. And, uh, After that, si ano po, si Daniel, inappoint niya somewhere, and then natira yung tatlo. Okay? Ito yung pag-usapan natin in chapter 3, itong tatlo, andun ngayon. Si Daniel wala po sa picture. Anong ginawa nung hari? Ang ginawa po nung hari in chapter 3, nagtayo po siya ng napakalaki. Okay? Napakalaki po na temple, na, na ano, napakalaki po na, tawag na ito, ribulto. Alright, ribulto. Ang ribulto niya ginawa po is made of gold, at yung ribulto na to ay 10, you know, mga 10-story building high. Ganon. 10-story. Sobrang laki, no? Kasi nga gusto niyang ipakita na yung something. Kung anong something na yung pag-usapan natin. At marami taong ganyan ngayon. Maraming gusto mag-build ng kanilang monument. Tama ba? Marami gusto sikat ako. And, well, ang election po is one of the greatest opportunities for people to build their own monument. Kaya po, sa Monday... Election na. Sino boboto sa inyo sa Monday? Boboto. Ayun, no? Yan. Sino po sa inyo na gusto boboto pero hindi nakarehistro? Huwag na kayo magtaas ng kamay, no? <laughs> Nagtaas. Because election na po this coming Monday, talagang magkakaalaman na po tayo. Magandang ipag-pray po natin yan. Okay ba? In, 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 behind me is a slide, no? That we have to pray for, you know, I think points that we have to pray for our election. Before I continue with the story, kasi maganda magpray po ito, let us pray for, pray, let us pray fervently for God to, see, to set in leadership in our nation, national and local offices for who fear Him. May takot sa Diyos. May God set leaders who have the competence to govern well in our alignment and, and, and in our alignment no, with God's kingdom principle. May He move in the hearts and minds of every voter to make spiritual discernment in the selection of government officials. So also let us pray for Comelec, no? In all its deputized government agencies such as the Department of Education, BNP, AFP, that they will they would all fulfill their constitutional responsibilities to ensure peaceful, orderly and credible elections. Can we do that? Let's bow down, no? I'll give you 2 minutes to pray. Lain lahat as a church, come on, let's pray. Lord, today we come to you Panginoon for God. We ask you, Lord, to set leaders in our national local offices who fear Him. Lord, set leaders who have competence to govern, who can govern well. And Lord, their heart is actually aligned to your heart. The principle, Lord God, that you have in building the nation. Lord, I pray that you also move in the hearts and minds of every voter to select, Lord, the right leader that you would like this nation to have. There's a new season happening. And Lord, lastly, I pray for Komilik, Panginoon. I pray that that includes the PNP and all of the governments involved, Lord God, that they would fulfill their constitutional mandate, Lord, to 
secure a peaceful, orderly election, Lord. Lord, Lord this is what we ask and pray for as a church. Amen. All right, Lord, thank you, God, for this time that we can pray. We know, Lord God, that you have heard your people, Lord. And we know that what, no matter what happened this coming Monday, it is you, Lord, who appoints kings. And you also dethrone, dethrone kings, Lord God, for your purpose alone. And so, Lord, with that, we set the Lord God with peace in our hearts. You are in control. You're sovereign God. We declare this in the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. Amen and amen. All right. Sige, palapara din ang Panginoon. Let's give the Lord a club of praise. All right. No, so yun ang nangyari ngayon. Yan ang, yan ang ngayon ng, let's go back sa ano, Book of Daniel. No? Again, ito pong si Nebuchadnezzar, ang ginawa niya, nagtayo po siya ng napakalaking ribulto. Grabe, no? Gold. Made out of gold. Sa plain of Dura. Bakit kaya ganun? Well, I think, dahil si King Nebu, remember yung chapter 2, may dream. Sabi sa kanya ni, ano, ni Daniel, you are the gold there, the head. Tapos may silver, may bronze, tapos meron pang uh, metal or steel, di ba? And then may clay. Siguro, I think lang naman, baka inisip po ni, ano, ni, to, ni, ni King Nebo, I have to counter the dream. Nabasag siguro yun kasi nga, ano, layered eh. So ang ginawa niya, gumawa siya ng malaki and hindi po layer-layer, ginawa niya gold lahat. Maybe he's saying in his heart, ako yan. Okay? So that hindi, hindi siya kayang basagin ng stone that comes from the mountain. So ganun yun eh. Wala po sa Bible yun, pero lang naisip ko baka ganun lang yun. He's trying to counter that. And by the way, if you're going to look at the historical place where that, you know, yung monument has actually been built, it's the same place where Tower of Babel was actually built. Same spot. Karabi, no? But not the Tower of Babel? Because the people, they would like to challenge God. No, parang, no, we could actually be equal with the Lord. We have to build, you know, name for ourselves. You know, they said that during that time. And so this time around, it's the same breath. Ito pong hari, si King Nebu, nag-build po siya ng monumento. Laki no, no? Gold, no? Siguro kumuha ka lang ng, isang, ng finger nun, mayamang ka na eh. Patuloy kasi laki, nine-story nine or ten-story building ang high. So, gano'ng kalaki yung finger nun? No? Ilang necklace ang mapapagawa mo nun? No? Isip ka agad, sa, sa mga talaga ng isip ni pastor namin, ha? Anyway, gano'ng makakuha. Anyway, so gano'ng po yun. He's trying to build a name for himself. And you know what happened? Sa, sa mga following verses in chapter 1, ng, 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 verses pala in chapter 3, tinawag ngayon ni Nebu lahat ng mga tao, lahat ng mga leaders, lahat ng mga kings na kanya nasasakupan, lahat ng mga governors in all the provinces, lahat po ng matatalino, lahat sila tinawag. Bakit? Sabi niya, it's a dedication time. O, dededicate tayo yung temple. Siyempre naman, punta ka, dedication eh. Tama? Pero, ang nangyari, during the dedication, may nagsabi, yung taga-announce, siguro yung announcer, okay, ganito ang gagawin natin on how we're going to dedicate the, the monument okay, or the statue of Nebu. Sabi niya doon, Tutunog yung mga instrumento. Lahat binanggit, isa-isa. I hope nabasa nyo to ha. Tutunog po lahat yan. At pag tunog niyan, lahat magbabaw down. Ayun, nagoyo silang lahat. Tama ba? Sabi nila, dedication, yung pala worship pala ito. Okay? So, sino sa inyo rito, nabubudol kayo? Mga nabudol na. Ayan, yung, hindi, malapit lang pupuntahan natin. Yung pala, punta na kayong apari. Mga ganon, no? Ay, ha? Ilang araw na tayo nagbibisikleta. Mga, <laughs> ah, bike pa yan. So, Nung panahon po namin, mga goyo ang tawag, di ba? Ngayon, panahon po eh, ng kabataan, okay? mga nabubudol na. Tama ba? So, ang kauna-unahang budulero. May budulero talaga nabubudol. Sa Bible, eto, si Nebu. Nabudol niya yung mga tao, lahat ng mga leader. Eh, sinabi rin, pag hindi ka nag-bow down, patay ka eh. Hindi lang pugot ulo, limb by limb. So, talagang chop-chop lady. Favorite niya mag-chop-chop, no? So, chop-chop-chopin na naman silang lahat. Eh ngayon, dahil labudol silang lahat. Bawa doon pala tayo. Eh, doon yung tatlo. You see? Yan ang story ang pag-uusapan natin. Magbabaw down. Hindi pala dedication, kundi worship. At that moment po, merong kakaibang nangyari. And now, we're gonna be talking about that. Ito po, yung lesson that we can extract from this narrative of Hananiah, Mishael, and Azariah. Yan. Yung mga lesson natin. Well, 
Number one lesson I would like all of us to think about is this one. There's actually one true God. Remember, no tinayo po na yung Tower of Babel, they would like to challenge the Lord. People would like to elevate themselves in the Godhead, in the level of God. Ganun tayo eh. Bakit ba nagkaroon ng fall of man? Kasi nung niloko, nung devil, nung devil, you can actually be like God. Knowing what is good and what is wrong or evil. And so in our desire, gusto natin maging kagaya ni Lord. Kaya naman, gagawin ko yan. And so, and so it manifested in the king, King Nebu, during this time. Sa rin po, gusto niya maging kagaya ni Lord. Tama ba? Sino sa inyo dito, gusto mo maging kagaya ni Lord ka? Oh, wala naman. Buti na lang, no? Kasi baka magpagawa, magpagawa kayo ng monument kayo sa bahay, no? Huwag niyong gagawin yan, ha? So si Nebo, ginawa niya to. And so he would like to be like God. Sabi niya, walang ibang Diyos agaya ko. Kasi nabi niya rito, ha? verse 1, King Nebuchadnezzar made an image of gold whose height, yan na po yung height niyan, in the plain of Dura, the province of Babylon. And now, sabi niya nga rin, lahat po lang hindi magbabaw down. Patay kayang lahat. Grabe, no? At sinabi niya, ngayon, may nagsabi sa kanya, eh, King Nebu, meron pong tatlo na hindi nag-bow down. Sino yun? Nagalit siya. Sino mga hindi nag-bow down na yun? Eh, yan, yung mga taga, ano, taga, is, taga Israel. Alright? So, pinuntahan niya. Sino ba yan? Ito na po yun. Let's jump tayo sa verse 15. Now, sabi ni King Nebu, second chance to. Second chance. Alright? Second chance, ha? Habing ganon. Kapag narinig niyo itong mga instrumento na to, tumugtog yan, ang gagawin niyo, fall down. See? Fall down. And worship the image that I have made. Well and good pag ginawa nyo, sabi ni Nebu. Ano na kayo? Ha? Parang absuelto. But if you don't worship, you shall immediately be cast into the burning fiery furnace. And who is the God? Sabi niya dito. Who will deliver you out of my hand. So he himself elevated, alright, himself to the level of God. Ganun na. Sabi niya, ako na pinakamakapangyarihan sa lahat. Walang ibang Diyos na pwedeng magligtas sa inyo sa kamay ko. In other words, he's saying, mas makapangirin pa ako sa lahat ng Diyos na kilala nyo. So, ganun po yun. You see? So, he himself posed a serious challenge to God himself. Alam po ninyo, dalawa lang lagi ang kalawan ng Lord sa Bible. Ano kung ano? Pera at pride. Laging ganun. It's not even the demons. It's money and pride. Yung pride natin, nakala kaya natin, ang tayo ng pinakamagaling, Alam mo yun, yung ako nakakaalam ng solusyon, walang pwede magbigay ng solusyon, ako lang, yung ako lang pwede makaisip ng paraan. Kapag may problema, di ba, kaya ko yan. May ganun, no? Tindi ng yabang. Tama ba? May kailangan ba kayong ganun? Wala naman. Lahat, wala po, hindi po namin kaya. Man, tayo may ganun minsan, di ba? Kapag may problema tayo, hindi po, so, hindi po ako ganyan. Kapag may problema po ako, kay Lord ako lumalapit. Weh, talaga ba? O ang una mong iniisip, ano kayong gagawin kong solusyon? Pag walang pera, di ba? Sa kalumalapit, kay Lord, o doon sa nakamotor. Pero mga, <laughs> ay gano'n, masaba ako kaagad. See? And then you're saying, hindi, sunod ang in charge. <laughs> Ewan ko sa inyo. Okay. We repent. Alright, okay po ba? Sometimes, hindi pala sometimes, most of the time, dalawa lang laging kalaban ni Lord, pera at pride. That's what happened then. When the first recorded fall of man, it's because of pride. When Adam and Eve would like to be like God. Amen? So I hope, wala po sa, wala po sa atin dito may pride. No? Wala ba? Yan. Tingnan mo katabi mo, mukha bang maraming pride yan? Yan. Yan. Okay, okay, okay. Sige, so ganun. Ngayon, eto na, ang nangyari nga. Sige, hinagis tuloy. Hinagis ang nga sa apoy yung tatlo. Okay. Pero, ito nangyari in verse 26. Then Nebuchadnezzar came near to the door of the burning fire furnace. He declared, Grabe, Sadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, servants of the Most High. Fast forward. Ano sinabi niya? Servants of the Most High. He himself now realized he is not God. He himself realized that he is limited. He himself realized na there is one God who can actually save them, yung tatlo, from his own hands. And so in his mouth, ang sabi niya, servants of the most high God. Sinabi niya na merong isang Diyos talaga sa buong daigdig. And his name is Jesus Christ. I hope all of us as believers, we knew and we are settled with our hearts that there's only one true God. Amen po ba? Isa lang ang Diyos ng buhay natin pinaglilingkuran. Diyos ni Abraham, ni Isaac, and Jacob at ang pangalan niya ay si Jesus. Amen? 
I hope, we believe with all of our hearts that there's one true God. Wala pong iba. Kahit na po ang pangalan ko, J. Lord, hindi po ako si Lord. Amen po ba? Okay. Mali-mali din po ako. And so therefore, sabi po ni, ano, ni, ni, ano, ni Nebu, Therefore, I make a decree. Any people, nation, or language that speaks anything against the God of Sadrach, Meshach, and Abednego shall be turned limb from limb. Nag-iba na, no? Sabi niya, pag hindi kayo nag-bow down sa akin, tsak, putol kayo, chap-chap kayo ngayon. Ngayon, iba na. Hindi, hindi, hindi. Sino man sa inyo hindi akong kumikilala sa Diyos ang tatlo na to, kayo patay. Tsak, 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 tsak. Oh, iba na, no? Ang narecognize na na po ay si God talaga. The one who's able to rescue, you know, yung, yung tatlo in His hands. And so, You know what? Tong tatlo na to, mga unbelievers, ay mga believers sila, di ba? At sila po, nakaranas ng serious attacks from the unbelieving world. Actually, from the most powerful king nga eh. Inatake sila. Anong itake sa kanila? Yung kanilang pananampalataya. Tama? Kaya sabi, bow down kayo sa akin. Eh, tong tatlo, tong tatlo na to, they used to bow down to one true God alone. And so, when the moment was being attacked, anong nangyari tuloy? Eh, hindi po sila nagalit or nagtampo or what or nag sa Facebook and all. Because of that attack by the unbeliever to them, yung unbeliever tuloy naging believer. Pansin nyo? Sabi nyo, naging ano ka. Okay? And so, with that, gusto ko sabihin sa ating lahat ganito. God allow believers to harm the believers for them to know who God is through the believer's reaction whom they have done wrong. Ulitin ko ah. Pag kayo po ay sinaktan ng mga unbeliever, inaalaw ni Lord yon. Bakit? Kasi gusto ni Lord na makita ng unbeliever na naggumawa ng, kar- ng kamalian sa inyo on how you're going to react. Kasi makikita niya, ay, ibang klase pala yung may mga Diyos. Pag inutangan mo, thank you na. Alam mo, hindi, parang ganun, ano? Tama ba? Nakarelate ba kayo dyan? O, di ba mga ganun ng believers na pag, pag inutangan mo, hindi yung, ano eh, tutulpo kita! Hindi ka nagbabayad! Okay, hindi, no? Sometimes sa atin, thank you na yun. Tama ba? Huwag niyo yung palabas to, ha? Kasi baka maraming mga utang sa atin. Anyway, so, <laughs> so mga ganun, no? Nalala ko lang po. Nalala ko lang. To honor, you know, yung isang babae na kilala ko. Grabe, oh. Minumura talaga siya. Minumura, inaatake. Sa bangko, minumura. Ano ka lala? Yung asawa ko yun, ha? Asawa ko to. Kwento ko lang, ha? Minumura siyang ganun. Ang no, kliyente niya. Siya naman, Ganyan lang. Tapos nung after magmura ng napakatagal, di ba? Yung sinerve niya pa rin. Tapos nahimasmasan ngayon yung, yung maatake sa kanya. Christian ka ba? Bakit po? Eh kasi, eh, grabe yung pinagsasabi ko sa'yo eh. Pero okay ka lang. God is honored. Amen ba? Sa ganun, no? O sige, palapakan natin si Lord. Ganyan. Kaya pag inatake kayo ng ano, mga unbelievers, so, pagkaka-chance na, to Lord, to honor you. Di ba? Pag yung inorderan mo, ang bagal mag-serve, yes. <laughs> Tama ba? O hindi, pag may inag-order sa'yo, ano ba yan? Tagal naman ang inorder ko. Nakita ka na sa victory kanina. Hindi, hindi ako yun. <laughs> pag- <laughs> Tama ba? I hope, no, I hope every time that there will be, you know, uh, we have done wrong by somebody, especially unbelievers, that will be a chance for them to know that we are the servant of the Most High God. Amen? To give Him glory and honor. Kung kayo po, medyo may tinang ulo nyo, it's about time to make friend with Sadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Kung sabi nyo kayo, paano ba yun, bro? <laughs> How can we do that? How can we give honor, you, honor to you when we are being attacked? as believers. Amen ba? But if you are, you know, having different reaction, it's also time to repent. Sino sa inyo nito mag-repent na mamaya? Huwag na kayo magtaas, no? Baka magkaalaman. Pero nakatas kamay ko eh, kasi ako unang-una. <laughs> anyway, so there. So every harm done to the believers is a great chance for the believers to show that the world, to the, to the world, who is God, who God is, who want, that one true God is. Okay? So number two lessons, you know, we can actually learn from that. There's one true God. Number two, there's actually two opposing commands, no? Ano yung command nung una? Yung isa, sabi niya, you worship me. Sabi ni Nebu. O yan po, worship me. Pag di kayo nag-worship, patay kayo lahat. Sabi naman ni Lord, you shall not bow down to them and serve them. Yung mga image. So dalawang command yan. 
Sabi ni Isa, sa akin kayo sumamba, sabi ni Lord, wag, don't do that. Two opposing commands. You know, there are times that we are caught in the crossfire, you know, in, at, at the middle. Na hindi mo alam susund- sinong susundin ko. Saan ba ako mag-i-stand? Should I bow down to the requests of this heavenly or of these earthly leaders? Or should I bow down to the system of the world? Di ba? Yung, alam mo pare, pag hindi ka kasi naglagay, wala mangyayari. Sige na nga. Repent na lang ako mamaya. Alam mo yan? Or we say no and worship the Lord. This is always a challenge. Tama ba? Or sabihin sa'yo ng ano, sabihin sa'yo ng, ng TV, huwag ka nang umatin dun sa online. May TV naman. Tama ba? Masarap kaya sa supa, di ba? Hindi ka magbibihis. Tsaka ang, ang mahal ng gasolina ngayon, ha? By the way, no? Wag ka nang mapatraffic ka. Kakain pa kayo doon, gagastos ka pa niyan. Tapos aantokin ka pa ron. Kasi nga, napaka-boring ng mga preacher doon, no? <laughs> so dito ka na lang. Or, or you will believe in what the Word says. Never give up. Never give up meeting together as to see the days approaching. Tama ba? Never give up. Hindi, give up na ako eh. Two opposing commands. Tama? Command of the world, command of God. Command of the leaders or systems that we have and of course, God's command to us. Alright? And so, there you go. It's up to you. Always make the right choice. Always make the right choice. You know what? There are so many laws in all that one day will challenge your faith. Natotoo lang. Meron din po niyan. And what exactly happened to, that's what exactly happened to Sajak, Meshach, and Abednego. Okay? So there was a command that opposes their faith. Opposes their belief to God. And in command? Bow down to me. So they never actually bowed down. You know what? Yung story of faith, I want you to realize is that the narrative of faith in the Bible, the greatest story or narrative of faith in the Bible is also the greatest narrative of civil disobedience. Nakita niyo ba yun? Di ba alam natin, pag faith, ito na yung pag-usapan, Sajak, Mesak, Abendigo. But, this also the story of civil disobedience. Actually nga, in front of the king. Grabe, no? Bow down. Bow down! Silang tatlo, ganyan. Bow down to tatlo na to. <laughs> you know, maybe, yung tanong ko kanina, kailan ba dapat tayo nag-disobey in such a way that we honor the Lord? When can our disobedience become obedience talaga? Well, when sin turns into law. Okay? When sin becomes a civil law, then our disobedience to that law is our obedience to God. Remember, our one true king is God alone. Kapag sinabi ni ano, presidente po natin, lahat ng mga kristyano, bawal na mag-worship. Well, wag worship tayo. Amen po ba? Kapag ang pastor nag-preach against this, kulong. We're going to preach. Okay? Tama ba? Because that's who we are. We, you know, we have our allegiance to God more than the leaders of our nation. I hope this is clear to us. Hindi naman po siya nagsunod ng EPG or what, but they just disobey right there and then. Why? Because it's against the law of God. Okay? Ganun po yun. Sometimes, we are challenged to disobey. Alam niyo po ang victory, disobedient? Yan na naman, yan, pastor na naman, disobedient na naman. Oo, ang daming bansa po na pinagbabawalan, mag-preach ng gospel, tayo naman padala ng padala. Tama ba? Ng mga missionary. Titikas ang ulo natin, no? <laughs> anyway, because we know that we can actually disobey them rather than disobey the Lord. Amen? Make a stand. Who would you like to disobey? God and obey, you know, our earthly leaders? Or disobey our earthly leaders and obey the Lord? It's up to you to make a stand. And so I like the idea that we are faithful, disobedient Christians in preaching the world, in the Word of God, even to the close world. Amen? Are you happy with that? Masaya ba kayo doon? Oh, eh, palakpa ka naman tayo kayo pag masaya tayo dyan. Grabe, no? Lord, we like that. One true God, two opposing commands, three faithful violators. <laughs> Tatlong mga faithful violators to. Sabi, worship kayo. Hindi, kami mag-worship. Okay. So, nagalit si Nebuchadnezzar. Right? He was furious. 
All right. He was in furious rage. Commanded the Sadrach, Meshach, Abednego to be brought. So they, be, so they were actually brought by this mighty man before the king. Then in verse 14, sabi dito, Nebuchadnezzar answered and said to them, Is it true? Kayo ba? Talaga totoo bang hindi kayo nagbabaw down? Okay. Some image na ginawa ko. Now, if you are ready, sabi dito, verse 15, if you are ready, pag narinig nyo to, bow down kayo. Ito yung second chance na binabagdi ko kanina, di ba? Second chance kayo. Pero pag, pag hindi kayo nagbaw down, talaga, doon sa fiery furnace. And then, verse 16, then Sadrach, Meshach, and Abednego answered and said to king, O Nebuchadnezzar, look at this, they not even mention him as a king. O Nebuchadnezzar, we have no need to answer you in this matter. If this be so, our God whom we serve is able to deliver us from the burning fiery furnace and He will deliver us out of your hand, O King. Now He mentioned the King here. With respect pa rin. Ililigas kami ng aming Diyos. Karabi, no? What a faith. At the same time, what and you know, a defiant or defiant people. Karabi, so what tigas ng ulo, di ba? Papatay ko yun. Okay lang. Gagawa kami ng tama. Kahit ano mangyari. But if not, sabi dito, but if not, if our God will not rescue us, sabi dito, O King, that we will not serve your gods or worship the golden image that you have set up. Kahit namamatay kami dyan, we're not going to bow down to you. What a faith that is so established. I hope we can come to the point that we are having the faith that is so established as well. Amen po ba? Sino sa inyo gusto mo ang faith mo ganon? Sobrang tatag. Established talaga yan. Na kahit ano mangyari, hindi, huwag ka mag-share ng worship. Yeah, share ako. Huwag ka na mag-worship. Hindi, yeah, worship ako. Because that's who you are. God is with you. Kaya nga, naalala ko lang, no? Of course, sinagis sila sa fiery furnace. But anyway, you know what? I want to say this. There are moments when our faith to God is expressed in our disobedience. There are moments na talagang yung faith natin is expressed to our disobedience. Naalala ko lang, sabi ng gobyerno, huwag kayo mag-meeting kasi may COVID pa. May mga kilala ako, hindi, face-to-face na tayo. Nag-disobey. Nag-preach pa, nag-walk the victory group and all. Anyway, <clears throat> that's their faith. There are moments when our disobedience exactly is exactly our obedience. That's what happened. Nakita natin, di ba? That's obedience to God. There are moments when to honor God means to dishonor our earthly leaders. There are moments na mag-dishonor po kayo. But don't worry, if you do that to honor the Lord, you are at the very center of God's mercy and grace and presence. And the Lord will be with you. Sasamahan kayo ni Lord. And that's exactly what happened. It leads me to my last point. The four men in the fire. You see? One true God, two opposing commands. There were three faithful disobedience that lead us to the four men in the fire. So, ang daling maintindihan niyan. Okay, one, two, three, four lang. Then King Nebuchadnezzar was astonished and rose up in haste. He declares to his counselors, Did we not cast three men? Ba tatlo yun? Tinali pa natin? Opo, tatlo po yun. Okay? So, they answered the king, Tama po yun. Then he answered and said, But I see four men, apat na. Ayun ang nangyari. Tapos, unbound. Wala na yung tali. Walking in the midst of the fire. Palakad-lakad lang. Diba sa apoy? Parang, Sarap dito, no? Ang lakas ng aircon. Parang gano'n. <laughs> o ngayon, kumusta ka ba? Oh, okay naman ako. O, basta yung probinsya ang pinamahala mo. Siguro gano'n usapan nila. No? They were walking in the fire. Okay? Narinig nyo naman yung kantang ano, I'm walking on fire. This girl is on fire. Parang gano'n siguro sila, no? Yung totoo talaga. These men were on fire. Kasi kumakata sila ng gano'n. These men were on fire! Pagkakagano sila siguro, no? Why? Well, eh, di sila namamatay sa apoy, eh. So, manghang-manghang hapo si Nebuchadnezzar. Sa kanya, bakit nagkaganon to? So, Nebuchadnezzar came near to them. Alright, sabi rito, Sajak, Mesak, and Abednego, servants of the Most High, come out and come here. So, of course, after that, therefore, he make a decree. I already, you know, said this to us. Na, dapat ang Diyos talaga, Diyos nila. Sila na sasambahin. And you know what? What happened to that? It's just the faithfulness of God to those who are faithful to Him. Sabi ni Lord in Isaiah, When you pass through the waters, I will be with you. And through the rivers, they shall not overwhelm you. When you walk through the fire, you shall not be burned. And the flame shall not consume you. Maybe, itong tatlong to, alam nila ito. Yung prophecy ni Isaiah. Well, 
bring us to the fire. Okay lang. Maybe in their hearts, they knew na itapo mo kami sa apoy. Takot kayo dyan, kami hindi. Why? Because the fire is the very presence of God in the Scripture. Remember, He showed to Moses in a burning you know, bush. Remember in the book of Acts, when God baptizes people, it was actually in the form of fires di ba? in their heads. And so, gusto kong sabihin, lahat po ng Kristiyano, they are at home in the fire. Amen ba? At home tayo sa fire. So, wag tayong matakot doon. In other words, what I'm saying is this, wag po tayong matakot sa kahit anong threat na binibigay sa atin ng mundo if we're not going to obey them and instead obey the Lord. Don't be afraid with that. Why? Because God will always be with us. And actually, in the place na kung saan po, <clears throat> na parabang, you know, place of you know, punishment to them, it's actually a place of blessing to them. God will accompany us in our own fire furnace to turn that place of punishment into a place of blessing. Para bang dadaling ka namin sa apoy. Alam niyo story ng unggoy tsaka yung, yung ano ba yun, yung pagong? Sabi ng pagong, nainis yung pagong, nainis, nainis yung ano, di ba? Yung, yung, yung ano, nainis po yung unggoy sa pagong. Tatabo ka na sa dagat, ay sa tubig. Sabi ng pagong, wah, mamatay ako, namalulunod ako. <laughs> Parang ganta nangyayari. Tama ba? Lagi ka namin sa apoy. Okay lang. <laughs> Why? Because that's actually the presence of God. And so we're at home there. Amen? So we are at home even to the, you know, you know, the greatest punishment that this world could ever give us. It's all right. Ganyan-ganyan po si Saul. Kaya nga kahit anong gawin sa kanya ni Satanas, di ba? Okay lang. If I die, <laughs> I'll be with God. To die, you know, it's, it's, it's gain. Amen? And so, wag po kayo matakot na mag-on-site. Kasi may ano, may, may covid Eh, ako ba sa'yo? Sabi na nga ni Daniel, di ba? You will be walking in the fire. God will be with you. Amen? And so, if you are here, you know, I hope you're feeling the presence of God with you now. Tama ba? O, palapakala natin si Lord John. Come on! And so, lastly, I want to end here in the, new, in the New Testament. So, they called them and charged them not to speak or teach at all in the name of Jesus Christ. We're talking about Peter and John. Pinagalitan, wag na kayo mag-preach ng word ni Lord. Okay, don't speak in the name of Jesus Christ. Huwag niyong gagawin yan. Ano sabi ng dalawa? But Peter and John answered them, Whether it is right in the sight of God to listen to you rather than to God, you must judge. Ano bang tama? Makinig sa inyo o makinig kay Lord? Ano bang tama? Sumunod sa inyo at mag-disobey kay Lord? O sumunod kay Lord at mag-disobey sa inyo? And sabi ni Peter, bahala na kayo dyan. But of course, we knew what we're going to do. We're going to obey the Lord even it means disobedience to your law. That is faithfulness. That is obedience. And so our obedience to our earthly leaders end when it begins to require our disobedience to our God. That would be my last point. I say it again. Our obedience to our earthly leaders end when it begins to require our disobedience to our God. One true king. One true leader. One true God. Amen? And so you guys, disobedient people, <laughs> kaya mga tayong lahat mga disobedient people, that is just right. That's actually honoring the Lord if we disobey this world in only to obey our God. That is God's honoring. Amen po ba? So if you are disobedient dito kay Lord, malakpa ka nga, malakas. Hindi, pag disobedient, dapat tayo kay Hari or sa mga mundo and we obey the Lord. Amen po ba? Come on, palakpa natin Panginoon. Yun. Talaga kayo. At sinikul ako, nakikinig kayo. Eh. Tayo tayong lahat. Come on. Let's stand up. <clears throat> I hope we are all blessed today. I hope you learn from this one. But guess what? If, there's, if there will be something that all of you, that I want all of us guys to, to take away, is that you're not going to be afraid. Don't be afraid. If the world tells you, you know, that the world will kill you or take away everything in you if you're not going to obey the laws of this world. If it takes us, it takes our disobedience to God, don't be afraid to disobey the world. Amen? Huwag kayong matakot. Kahit nasabihin pang dadaling kayo namin sa kulungan, ilalagay namin kayo sa apoy. No, no, no. You know, that's why I really appreciate yung mga missionaries natin. Kahit na bawal mag-preach, kahit napapatayin sila pa nag-worship, they just go there and worship. 
Why? Because they rather choose to disobey this world rather than, you know, instead of disobeying God. That should be our faith. That should be our stand. Amen? Let's worship the Lord. Lord, but before that, let's just pray. Lord, thank you for this moment, Panginoon. I pray today that as your people, Lord, you're going to accompany us in our life, Lord, especially in the way we live this life, Panginoon, wherein the whole world is actually, there's so much in this world, Lord, that requires us to disobey you in order for us to be in. In order, in order for us, Lord God, na maging part of the system. There's so much, Lord, around us. But Lord, I declare that let the spirit of Sadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, Lord God, the spirit of God, the spirit that they have that moment, Lord, be the same spirit that we have now. That no matter what happened, Panginoon, we will choose to obey you rather than obey the sinful laws of this world. We would rather bow down to you, Lord God, than to bow down in the systems, in the faulty systems, in the sinful ways, Lord God, of this world. And Lord, even if they say that they're going to die or disenfranchise us, Lord God, of our freedom, Lord, we will not succumb to this world. Instead, we will bow down to you, Lord, and honor you. And Lord, thank you so much also for reminding us that every attack, Lord God, done to us by the unbelievers is our chance, Lord, to show them that one true God through our reactions. Let them see, Lord God, that we are firm in our faith. Let them realize, Lord God, that there's one God who is alive, working in us, Lord God, through our reaction to their wrongdoings to us, Lord. And by that, your name will be glorified. Your name will be honored. We thank you, God. Bless your people today. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. Sige, palakpang po natin ang ating Panginoon. Come on. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Let's just worship God. Before we end, okay ba? Jesus, you're all I see, I know.